Hello everyone, welcome back to Dead Cells. I've literally just come from the daily. I don't know what order I've uploaded them in. Probably a sensible order because I'm amazing. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit highway blind from the daily because it was such a good daily that I now have no idea how to use this weapon. Inflicts a critical hit several targets at the same time. We're not going to do much of that. Maybe. But I do like this particular weapon. Um... We're quite likely to go for a brutality run. The last episode was so good, I don't know if we can uh, even think about repeating the uh, the high level of skill required to get to that position, which uh, kind of sounds like I'm being facetious to myself, but uh, only slightly. I do feel, feel, feel like I did quite well. I do feel like I'm going to take this balance blade, whether you like it or not. Um to get to the final boss in the first place, honestly, but, um, I, okay, I want to say right now, I know that I can tend to sound a little bit salty when I finish uh, a run on a death, which is going to be every run ever until I learn the patterns of that final boss. Um, I'm not, okay, as long as something comes from the run, ooh, we are now able to do that, so if we can start saving up more money at the end of each um, episode, yeah, end of each death, basically, we can stop paying for that, 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 that grenade that's hidden away up there. Oh, it's you, huh? Looks like I'm on the right side of the door for once. Who are you? <laughs> Damn, they didn't mess around. What are you talking about, my dude? Who is this guy? No answer. What are we saying? Meal tray. Chicken? Been abandoned here for some time. Yeah. Don't need that. Really looking forward to that alpha. I know I keep banging on about it. I'll be very grateful for the door that lets you get some cool stuff if you don't take too much damage. Oh, wait. I was going to say any damage, but it is too much damage, really. Um, too much damage is basically <laughs> more damage than lets you open the door, and it's not no damage at all. It's just, it just feels like that way sometimes. Oh, I see a shop. I don't know if I want to go to the shop, but I do have plenty of money now. I could unlock that hunter's grenade. That would certainly undo any saltiness that you may consider a meter to have. Um, because it would mean that if, if I'm using the hunter's grenade and therefore unlocking rare blueprints, every episode is going to be successful in some way. Um, but yeah, I, I do tend to have a little bit of... There's some grumble in me, for sure. How do we get... Excuse me? <laughs> um, when we get to a boss that we have no idea how to fight. But at the same time, I can't be actually salty because we have got to a boss that I have no idea how to fight. And the reason I have no idea how to fight it is we don't get that far that often. So if we do get that far, we have done really well. Plus, on the way, it's not like we got that far and just died to no avail. Ah, uh, to no avail. We... There was a reason that we got to that boss, apart from the fact that I'm probably getting better at the game, or at least better at making the right tactical decisions, which honestly is like nine tenths of the battle, I think. Um, and along the way we picked up many blueprints, which is the reason I got to that boss in the first place, is that we have unlocked blueprints that improve my standing sort of as a player. Um, I will buy this because I want to. I will sell this. Uh, we have not now enough money to go and get that hunter's grenade, which is kind of a sad thing, but not particularly a sad thing, because uh, I don't really care. So we'll go and get the treasure chest up here and then go down to the sewers again, because I have a feeling if there's going to be any... Um, if there are going to be any blueprints left anywhere, it's going to be in places that are hard, that I don't play very often. So let's go that way. Meanwhile, I will continue to drink my warm root beer. It's very licorice -y. I think I mentioned in the daily. It's a different type of thing. It's not the, um, it's not the flavouring riddled stuff that you tend to get. Ooh. Bleeding or poisoned, we can probably make those happen with just some re-rolling of the uh, of the of the modifiers to it, right? Or we could try this one, which I 
think basically sure why the heck not uh, and I guess I did like nerves of steel in the alpha actually which had unlocked that uh, and then we'll put some in the ice shard because that's basically going to be I nearly sold that by accident um, can't sell that can sell that uh, wait, what did I say? Yeah, it's going to be the Frost Blast, but better in my opinion. Ha! <laughs> Shots pierced, that seems good. I enjoyed Nerves of Steel, I think it was pretty good. I, I feel like I was good at it. Um, we have a poison thing already, so I'm going to take that poison uh, mutation there but yeah because we're always re-rolling our modifiers I'm wondering if that's going to be well of course it's going to be because not only do we have the poison modifier on our sword but we have at least one skill that just causes bleeding as as the skill it's, that's what it does right I'm just <laughs> practicing this one more time excuse me yes I remember it's almost like um I'm pretty good at rhythm games, basically. Oh, Pierce is the first target as well. Oop, that wasn't that was not correct. Wow, got through the first floor entirely without taking any damage whatsoever. And now, by the way, I do know I am aware. I scratched my chin, and that was bad. Um, that at some point we're gonna have to run through this game without um re refilling our flask at all. We're not going to be able to. Too many revenants. That's undead. It's a French for undead. Have you seen? I, I was kind of hoping, by the way, that there was something here for me to collect, but there is not. Uh, there is a French drama known as Les Revenants, which is the, the return. Which was... I think it was aired on Channel 4. And it's about these kids that died in a school bus crash. And then, like a year later, they just show up again. And, ever, and they they have no idea. They just go home, right? And then the entire town is going, what the hell? Um, and it's actually it's almost Black Book style in its uh, exploration of the, the effect this has on people. By the way, how do I get a speed stat? Do I just do damage to things? Also, by the way, you don't have to use the, uh, the crit effect of the the nerves of steel bow. You can just shoot things with it. I think I mentioned this when I last used it, when I unlocked it in the alpha. You can just shoot things. Like that. And then, that's okay. <laughs> it's allowed. No one's gonna take it away from you if not actually having nerves of steel. So if you want to shoot something that's charging towards you like them damn bats, do. <laughs> No one's stopping you. Uh, yeah, I, the game speeds itself up. That wasn't great. And I don't really know what causes it. So I don't know how to enable. Ooh. That's almost better. I just whacked the microphone. My mistake. I'm going to say no, the instanta instantaneous DPS is worse. It is better, but the crit DPS is worse. However, the crits are much easier to enable. I forgot that I had to wait before I could roll again, so I thought I'd just be clever about it. Uh, and it didn't happen that way, because, as we all know, it's not how the game works. Nice. So what gives me a speed boost, and indeed... Well, I was going to say I don't have one right now. I do. It's just very silly. Pay some attention. I know there's a chest, but you're also like... I'm still down here, so... Nice. I understand why it's called Nerds of Steel, by the way, because obviously when things are attacking you, and you want to get a decent crit from that. Ow. I'm going to do this before you learn that you can... Uh, by teleport. Nice, nice. <gasps> but, um, 
funny. It's a four, which means it upgrades to a four plus. And it's got much better DPS. Okay, I'm going with it because it's got much better DPS. Don't judge me. Don't at me. You can at me. I've rejoined Mastodon. Because Twitter sucks. <laughs> um, did you... Have you... Are you keeping up with the Tumblr drama? Tumblr have decided, through the great wisdom of Think Tank, that they're not going to allow any not-safe-for-work posts. They're not going to allow any nudity or such like any any you know actual pictures of human beings in their natural <laughs> yeah, oh natural that's the word we use right it's not that i would know but like it seems like the majority of tumblr is is that it's like the point of it isn't it isn't that not why everybody's there all right i've got this stat facts everyone i forgot um but not not just it's weird. It's a very strange decision to make in 2018, nearly 2019, that all of a sudden, it's almost prudish, don't you think? That they would start, like, metering out... Okay, there's a couple of problems here. First of all, why should I care, <laughs> right? I mean, sure, if I wanted to look at such content, just go anywhere else online and you will find it. You know, I don't have to use... Tumblr, uh, and, but what I'm noticing is that there's a lot of people who accept commissions from the general public, like the people with Patreons, for example. They actually make money from the publicity that they get through Tumblr, and it's not just uh, porn artists, basically. It it comes a cropper of the fact that Tumblr has a really shit algorithm. <laughs> Pardon my French. But Tumblr are not actually capable of determining whether a blog fall foul, falls foul of its guidelines in the first place. For example, uh, art is not considered to be in contravention of the nudity guidelines. And yet, in fact, their um, actual post used the Statue of David as an example of art that would not be considered obscene by their guidelines and yet <laughs> a post of the Statue of David has been flagged as in contravention oh I thought it was good timing the contravention of Tumblr's guidelines so for a start that is an immediate like the algorithm does not agree with the rest of them I don't want to go to the ramparts the algorithm doesn't agree with the human beings. Furthermore, another much more major problem with it is that blogs are being flagged as having nudity in them when they don't. The algorithm, I think, is just using basic image recognition to try and determine whether uh, the, the content is inappropriate. Yeah. Um, but it's bad at it. So now there's legitimate people who are trying to make a living off of Tumblr being flagged up by this doomsday machine that Tumblr have released on the world. And Tumblr is like, yeah, it's... You should go and have a look at the stock price of Tumblr recently. You can see when they made this announcement in their own stock prices because it's absurd that it just plummets. From it like halves, I think. I, I don't have it to hand. I can't really re see what the the actual numbers are, but it was absurd. The, the drop in the stock price. Ooh, movement speed. That would be good if I still had the other thing. Um, I just I think it's preposterous because it's not like there aren't other places to go for that content. People use Tumblr for a reason. And that reason is that it, it, it is the right place to do it. There's lots of types of social media, and Tumblr is one where you can post a reasonably long amount of text formatted, several images, links. They don't mind you advertising your Patreon or your, you know, other social media. They don't mind, basically, until now, didn't mind you doing basically anything. 
Except for things that are clearly illegal, like child pornography, which is what they were originally going after, but now they're going after everything in the attempt to rebrand themselves or some nonsense like this. Should be able to get rid of these fairly easily. Yeah. The uh, guaranteed crit from that is much nicer. Just sell this. So, I mean, I haven't really had time to formulate an opinion on it, because it's... I, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I don't have a, a porn blog on Tumblr that I'm trying to use as a starving artist to make my living, but... Some people do. And I don't understand why they would, like, slash their own share prices and plunge themselves, set, out, set themselves on fire, basically. Just to... What? Clean up the internet? Is that is that their goal? Is this moralizing? Help. I saw that. Stop. Just keep slashing. Hack and slash. Nice. Right, let's go over here and get rid of this nursery. <laughs> um, something poisoned me and I was not a fan of it. <laughs> what a blinking palaver just to sell a shield. I might as well have just not bothered, but that thing was gonna... No doubt that thing would have managed to attack me from beyond the grave anyway. It's best to get, get it thoroughly as ridden of as you can. Just leave them. <laughs> leave me alone. Nice. I like having a guaranteed hit that does not involve being behind the thing. Why are there spikes in weird places? Anyway. Everyone's escaping. That's the thing. Um, you'll see you'll see blogs of... I was going to say legitimate artists, but you understand my point. Um, also bailing from Tumblr in protest from the fact that there and other blogs... Like, they don't want to have to constantly audit their blog just in case... I tried to jump twice, but it didn't happen. It makes me sad panda. Uh, just in case their blog has been wiped. Have you played Tron 2? Because, first of all, I'm going to on the channel or maybe on stream at some point. But secondly, there's this entire section where they, um, they I don't want to say anthropomorphize, but you know how Tron is a sort of a large, it's not quite a metaphor, is it? <laughs> nice try. Um, for the inside of a computer. It's just a, it's fantasticalizing the inside of a Computer. There's the programs are represented by uh, people, and there's various constructs in the world that. How am I describing it? Yeah, there's, there's buildings and there's devices and there's all things like this. There's circumstances and phenomena that represent internally something that we externally just understand as the way computers work. And in Tron 2. 2.0, there is a, a scene where you have to run away from a format and reformat. The whole thing is being reformatted, the disc is being reformatted, and it's um, represented by a huge red wall of fire. Just do this. <laughs> that just sort of relentlessly progresses from the back of the level to the front of it. And you have to get out of the place. You have to get off the disc before the disc is gone. And it's... Oh, hang on. I need to scratch my face, but my glasses are in the way. Oh, heck. Apologise for that. Um, but it's, it's basically what Tumblr is doing right now. <laughs> it's this massive red wall of... Who cares? Of, of, it has the same sort of connotations as a reformat as well. I think that's the thing I like about this analogy the most, even if you haven't seen it. It's like Tumblr are just reformatting the internet, and they're going to reinstall it <laughs> with less blackjack and less hooker. I was going to say less hookers, but I couldn't bring myself to use bad grammar. I, I apologise. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go with it. Fewer hookers, okay? Gosh, now I've got a fingerprint on my glasses, by the way. That was very nerves to steely. I'm super glad I did it. This is a combination that has worked so well for us before, I cannot help but use it again. Plus, it's an excuse to um, take the grenade modifier thing. Well, that's pretty good as well, but I'm not going to. 
So thanks, but no thanks. Anyway, what a palaver. It's basically Tumblr's turning off the internet because they don't like bear people. I mean, it's... I understand that there's a lot of such content that is just reblogged Pornhub, basically. <laughs> but there's... The art, it's the artists that I, I have to feel for because they put effort into it, you know? It's not just that they're finding ooh, other people's content and having a way with it. Ah! That was bad. That was really, really bad. Oh, I appreciate having my own biters. They, they, they're doing something. You know, they're, they're trying to get commissions. They're trying to get money. They're trying to make their way in the world. Surely, Tumblr is making money because it's an advertised platform. It's not like it's completely free. So surely the <laughs> plus two of the most popular things on the internet is porn, right? Isn't that just a known statistic? Isn't that the way the world works? Like pornography is like the first or second most googled thing in the world ever. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making things up now. I'm just trying to fill in time because this run is so long. That was bad timing. I should just do that, right? And then that, yeah. I would very much like to be able to cool down these grenades quicker. Oh, hey! Nice try, sunshine. I... These sorts of enemies are the reason that the previous run could have gone so horribly wrong with having all those... Uh, having the weaponry that it did. Because without the ice freezy thing, the previous run would have been really, really difficult to, to uh, attack enemies that come at you quickly like the exploding things. And honestly, the combination of ice thingy and slow but heavy hitter thingy was outstanding as it happened. Like, much better than I could have ever anticipated it being. Do I even want to do this? Not really. <laughs> Keep it for the effort you maybe put into that. It's not like I get points for stomping. Are we there? Yes. Insufferable crypt. Yes. Can we beat the insufferable crypt as we stand? That grenade won't help. Something over there might help. We should try. Because if we don't and we find out that we should have, how would we find that out? That's a good question. If we find out that we should have, we're going to be glad that we did, or didn't, didn't, didn't. That's no good. Um, so, also, not really getting a whole amount of, a whole huge amount of uh, money today. I know I've opened a couple of golden doors. Maybe, maybe a couple? But, at the same time, I kind of expected them. Maybe a couple more um, of your uh, common or garden crypts, crypts, glyphs in the wall. You can. Use, I'm starting to expect these uh, trolling scorpions from the ground, by the way, because they always seem to be next to these damn things. Yeah. Whenever you see one of those, you can expect a trolley scorpion, a trolley scorpion. Nothing up here. There's another thing there. Yikes. I'm getting good at that time, don't you? Thank you for saying so. I think so too. There's a cell. We could have it. I'm not going to kill that thing. It's stuck in the water and it can stay there as far as I'm concerned. There is more over there. There's plenty more to explore. Obviously that place was not one of them. <sighs> what? Let's have a look. Roll, 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 roll. Get off the wall. I'm trying to itch my nose and just walk around. I keep grabbing onto the wall like a lunatic. Crate of weapons. I don't quite get what these crates are doing here, but so be it. So we have... No, not good enough. Not into the stunning thing on something that is already too slow. Had it been perhaps uh, the broadsword or that I had something... Oh, I don't even know. I can't imagine a situation where I would appreciate the nutcracker. So... Stop bringing it... <laughs> Stop bringing that to the party. No one wants to do Ritos. Ted. Am 
my milkshake brings all the nutcrackers to the party. In fact, stop bringing nuts to the party. We wouldn't need the nutcracker. It's a very Ted Mosby thing to bring to a party, isn't it? Walnuts. I don't have enough money for this. You made me go all that way and there's no way back that is quick. So, heck you. It might have been nice to have that many cells, but what the heck ever. When do we get the, uh, the improving everything person? Because that is relevant to my interests. I am also going to go this way. We'll do a complete level. Uh, and... Okay, that's it. No. Uh, do you know what? We're doing well enough. That was bad. Nice. Yeah, we did do well enough. I was just thinking, we're doing well enough at this, that an amulet might be nice. Get gold. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's better than not having it, but at the same time. Stop fobbing me off, frankly. Uh, a little bit of money. I mean, I was complaining we don't have very much money, but not, <laughs> not that bothered. You know, I, I can live without it, especially since we're now going to the insufferable crypt where I can't spend any money. And I can't spend any money in between except if I want to upgrade everything, which I do want to do, but there's not going to be anything to give me the money from the cells in the first place. In the first place. I did like the boomerang on that daily. Let's, let's put some money into that. I don't want to unlock anything, and I don't really want to try failing to unlock it by accident, to be honest with you. Explode is fine too. I don't know if the, um, I don't know if conjunctivitis thingy has any uh, back. I know that the, the the tentacles do, but I don't think the big head thing does, so I guess we're going to have to do this a different way. I am noticing a trend, by the way, that the dailies seem to be always giving me the concierge. <laughs> I slowed it down and thus confused myself <laughs> on the timing of whether I could jump out of the way of it or not. You didn't give me enough time to react to that. I, I want to do it. I want to recount. Again. <laughs> okay. We're not doing too well right now. <laughs> I don't know who to blame, but I'm not going to blame myself because that would be uh, I'd be giving in. So kill, 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 kill that kill. I wonder if I just like get better at dodging these things because you don't have to worry about it until there's an exclamation mark, right? But I'm always run running around going, "Oh, help me!" I'm, I'm so weak and puny. That was bad. I did stand in the wrong place. I recognise that completely. Being mine own fault. But like... Stop worrying. That was bad. Okay, I, I will get the hang of it, I promise. But when there's an exclamation mark, that's when you need to roll. I was kind of hoping that I would have done that a little bit better. Good, good, good. Also, if I don't have a notice, not one of those tried to chase me. Ha, do your worst. I think this will be our crit machine for this particular round. No. No, oh, you weren't slowed anymore. I I call lies and shenanigans. Did you see that nonsense? It said it was gonna do the charging thing. But then it didn't. Haha. Um, I think maybe there was a... Uh, there's a certain amount of it is no longer vulnerable vulnerable to my uh, slope for quite as long as it was. I don't know if that's an actual mechanic that I'm talking about or whether it just seems that way. Or if it, more that the uh, different phases of the boss have different vulnerabilities rather than the boss just becoming less vulnerable to it over time. In either case, it's definitely slowing down. It's definitely unslowing faster than it was before. Right. I can actually roll out of the way of that now without worrying about it too much. Careful. 
haven't really hit it. Hang on, I've got an itchy nose again. Stop hitting! I actually feel uh, quite pleased with myself for having actually said actually a million times in a row, but also having got this far. Okay, good. So now we just tempt these things up. I, I, I help. I'm mind flooded. Once it starts, that's it. I'm, I'm flooded. I can't do any more. That was way more than good enough timing, to be honest with you. Didn't expect that. Probably should have. Nice, nice, nice. Right, get them to stand up. These have started without... Pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. I already rolled in the wrong direction. Nice. Do that. Hit it. I don't care what whip. Yes, good. I'm going to save my... Oh, he did it again. My heal. For a more dire situation. Ready for it that time. Nice. Which way are you going to come up? Ha! I've got an itchy nose. Man! I'm so sorry for pausing it and interrupting your high octane gameplay, but... What? <laughs> Run! I need you to not, like, be unhittable. Because it's kind of annoying. Oh, I thought I'd missed that. Oh, what is happening? Seems to be able to get myself into a little bit of a pickle. Honestly. Right, good. <laughs> We only need to survive, but honestly, I'm not really doing well enough to believe that I can. I did not expect that. Golly, help. <laughs> the speed of that uh, attack just now was way above what I was anticipating. I'm rolled! <laughs> I pressed the roll button and you didn't let me have it. Come on, at least let me hit you. Come on. Do something more interesting than being far away. There's a certain... Um, certain amount of... I'm rolling. <laughs> certain amount of uh, downtime in this fight, I have to be honest. Expecting a charge. Yep. I am surprised that I didn't get penalised for that because I didn't even notice that I crashed into the ground by accident. Nope. Stop this attack. It is OP. It is imbalanced and I cannot defend myself. I need a defence against a dark arts class just to deal with that attack. If it's a dark art, it shouldn't be allowed. Give me one more, yes. and then a crit, and then a crit. Stop running away, coward! Get over it. Not this again. I am getting better at avoiding it, but it's still inconsistent. Ugh. Again, I keep rolling into these things, which is super difficult to not happen. Okay, good. Another thing we can do is wait for that attack to begin and then roll out the way. I'd be very grateful if you would stop doing difficult things. I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to can! Doing that. Have this. Oh, 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 it's time. It's that time again. I'm really trying to pay attention to when they start running at me, charging me, because that's going to be the bane of my existence right now. If I run past them like this, that's much better than. Uh, Trying to 
I don't want to roll out of the way when they're going to, you know, come up from underneath like that. I want to roll out the way when they charge me like that, right? So I just need to keep running around. No! He says, immediately not running around. Um, trying to bait them into attacking me like that. Uh, just with an exclamation mark, and then I'm golden. So, just continue to not die. Like that. The speed of them. Nice. Oh! Mate. How are you managing this? Hey, 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 hey. More. More damage. This is all to play for right now. Look at this. This is the death march of this. Where are you? No! <gasps> I rolled. I pressed the roll button. It was going to be a glorious victory. <laughs> Mom, why? Oh, my heart is in my throat, mate. <laughs> what a game. If I hadn't taken so much horrendously poor damage on the actual boss fight and just hit the damn thing, that would have gone swimmingly. We would have been way past that. But it didn't happen. It was not to be today. I apologise for the poor play at the end of that, but that's me. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate every time you share this on Instagram. I don't care. Social media. Words. Tell your friends how much you're enjoying the high octane thrill ride that is Dead Cells on Altruist Plays. And remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Leave a like on the video so that YouTube thinks people actually like the video that I put out. Leave a comment so that YouTube thinks people are commenting on the videos that I'm putting out. Uh, and go check out the other series on Cataclysm because that's cool too. But until next time, thank you for watching and I will see ya.